Right guys, we're going to talk about fat loss in literally three minutes. I'm going to give you four things to do that are going to, or four things to consider that's going to really help you get where you need to be where fat loss is concerned, all right? So number one, I need you to track your food right now. So keep a three, four, maybe five day food diary. Just your normal habits. Don't change anything and trust me, you'll want to as soon as you start writing it down because you'll see the crap that you're eating. But you need to know exactly what you're doing right now where your food's concerned, that's putting you in the exact position you're in right now, okay? Only then can you really have a tailored plan, whether it's around calories or whether it's around a specific meal plan. Only then really can you have one of those that's tailored to you, your needs, to give you the best chance of progress, all right? So the second thing I need you to do, I need you to move more. And I don't mean necessarily in the gym, I mean much more outside of the gym. So if you can boost your calorie expenditure outside of the gym, Wicked. Um, that might be getting off the tube a stop early. It might be going out and doing your shopping rather than doing the online shops. It might just be going out on the weekend rather than spending all your time vegetating on this over here. But the more you can boost that calorie burn in the other 23 hours of the day outside of the gym, the better. The more chance you're going to put yourself in a calorie deficit, thus lose a little bit of fat. Okay. Third thing I need you to do, and it's a bit of a sweeping statement, but I need you to work a bit harder in the gym. And I don't mean necessarily you need to do more, I mean you just need to give it an extra five, 10%. It might be in a, in a different area from one person to another. So let's look at this, like, are you tracking your rest periods? Are you being strict with those? Um, are you just kind of settling at that 10 to 12, 12 to 15 generic rep range with a weight that's hard, but it's not really pushing you to a place where you're making all kinds of weird little noises and squirming about a little bit. You should be getting to that point by the end of a set, most of the time. And if you're not getting there and you are just turning up, then trust me, you've got that extra five, 10% in the tank. The fourth thing I need you to do, I need you to track your progress, similar to what I've said about the food in the first point, but this is a brand physical progress. So you need to know where you're at right now, so it might be you might use a scale, so you might use a tape measure, you might get your body fat percentage measured. What I'm saying is you need these numerical kind of objective measures rather than just looking at yourself every day in the mirror. Taking pictures is a good one, but if you look at yourself every day in the mirror, it's a subjective thing. It will depend how you feel at that certain time from what you see and how you feel about it. For a lot of people, I'm one of them. So I need those objective measures to know where I'm at right now to set realistic goals, short-term, long-term, and then some big lofty ultimate goals as well. So, plan and track your food initially, move more, train a little bit harder, whatever area that might be in, and get some physical measures done and get them re-measured as you go through, okay?